Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course, where you will learn how to optimize post-tensioned concrete slabs in RAM concept. In this video, we are going to discuss how to determine the number of optimizable objects that you have in your RAM concept model and how to control the optimization using optimization regions. To start this process, we will go to the Layers menu bar option, go to your optimization plan. Now in RAM concept, the maximum recommended number of optimizable objects that you can have in a single region is set at 50, with a hard code limit set to 75. So it would be a good idea to review the number of optimizable objects you have in your model and to possibly break up your model into smaller regions if you are getting close to the maximum recommended level of 50 or you are exceeding it, getting closer to 75. So how do we determine how many optimizable objects we have in our model? Well, we have a couple different options for this, and what I'm going to recommend is to create an optimization region over your entire slab. To do that, we can click on our optimize optimization region icon within your layer specific toolbar, and then just quickly draw a region around your entire slab. And the program will be able to display the number of optimizable objects within your particular region. Now, if you don't see this information, you can go to your visible objects icon and ensure that the number of optimizable objects is turned on. Now, for this particular model, I am below the maximum recommended threshold of 50 objects. So I could leave it as it is, or if I want to assist the program in the optimization, I can create separate optimization regions, which is what I'm going to do for this particular model. So let me go ahead and delete this optimization region, and I can decide where I want to break up my slab. I'm going to choose to break up my slab along grid line F. So I can create an optimization region on the left hand side of this grid line and then another region on the right hand side of this grid line. So now I have the number of optimizable objects in basically region 1 set to 42 and the number of optimizable region objects in the second region, region 2, set at 17 right now. Let me talk about a few things that are going to happen when you use optimization region. First of all, any band and tendons that cross between one region to the next will automatically be split as they go from one region to the next. I do have some banded tendon polylines that are running along these main grid lines in the latitude direction, and they will be split at this location. As I take a look at the model, this is a good location for me to break up my regions since typically in exterior bays, you may want to vary the number of banded tendons you have anyway. So in effect, this may be the same as splitting your tendon polylines as they cross this location, just as we had done when our banded tendon polylines crossed over grid line D. The other important thing that we should mention when working with regions is that if you set up regions within your RAM concept model, that RAM concept will focus the optimization on the regions themselves, meaning that you don't want to, say for example, have just one region like this because anything outside of the regions will not be included in the optimization. So what you need to make sure is that if you are using optimization region that every object is in within a region for optimization purposes because anything that is not located within an optimization region will not be optimized. Now for this particular model, I like the way we've set up these optimization regions. It reduced the total of number of objects in each region and it created a very natural point for which I want to break my or split my banded tendon polylines anyway. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. 
Thank you, and see you next time.